Tell me about El- Tell me about Roderick. You tell me about Roderick. Roderick's a real nasty, nasty, evil uh, court. He's the king's right hand man. He's the politician of the piece, isn't he? Yeah. He's he's the king's court. He advises the king. He wants to marry the king's daughter, um, and in those days, probably that would be a, a marriage that would happen, but just for power. But he he only wants to marry her so that he can become king in right. uh, in his own right at the end of the day. Right. He doesn't love her. No. And I play Elmont, and I look right. after. You tell me, who. what do I well, do? Well, Elmont is, is one of the heroes of the story. He's the most noble knight that there is. And he's protected the, the, the king and, and, and I guess the queen at one point, right? Before she died, right? Yeah. Right. The, but we the never Elmont really story with the that. queen is one that we ah, don't talk about very much. Ah. There's the sequel or yeah. prequel. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, he uh, protects the princess and will do anything he can to do right by her and, and by the king. And he has he's utterly fearless. He doesn't always <laughs> doesn't always accomplish what he what he makes an attempt to, but luckily Jack's there to sort of pick up the slack. The actual process of working on a green screen stage is pretty, it becomes purely technical in a way. And we are instinctive, reactive beasts as actors. And to, so to, to have to, you're having to imagine not only what might be there, but also what, what you're reacting against, what might they do. With another actor, you, can, yeah. you react off instinctively, you don't think about it. Uh, so that it's like a one-sided conversation when you're pretending with, to act with a giant. So it's complicated. It's very d- difficult, tedious, boring at times. Uh, it's much more interesting to work with with another actor. You're getting you're getting something back, and each take can be different. It's a di- it's a dialogue. It's a, uh, an emotional exchange. Whereas that becomes you sort of throwing out things emotionally into the into the ether and you don't quite know <laughs> what, what you're doing. But, but the people behind the scenes know what they're doing and Brian sees very clearly what things are, what things are supposed to be. And then of course we see it, we see the final product and we get it. But during that process, is, it, it's quite uh, tedious and confounding sometimes. <laughs> Riding horses is always a great pleasure. And I've great. always loved to do that. And that was fun because it's, um, it's a great pleasure to ride a horse. Um, the climbing was awkward because of the armour and it was often raining and you're carrying a lot of equipment and you've got a harness, which is uncomfortable. And um, so the, the climbing was the most challenging thing, really. I think it's about confronting your fears. I think that's what, I mean, that's one of the overriding themes of the, of the film. 